Right now at 5, Vice President Kamala Harris making a campaign stop in Jacksonville today. This is on the same day Florida's six-week abortion ban takes effect. The Vice President holding remarks about abortion rights at the Prime Osborne Convention Center in downtown. The Vice President and Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan both speaking against the six-week ban today. This is a fight for freedom. The fundamental freedom to make decisions about one's own body and not have their government tell them what they're supposed to do. Because if the government can reach its way into the OB office or a fertility clinic, where, I ask you, will it stop? Six-week ban took effect. That happening over a year after Governor Ron DeSantis signed it into law, hours after the legislature passed the so-called Heartbeat Protection Act. Now, the governor signed that bill in a private ceremony with no prior announcement and no media present. And tonight, we have live team coverage of the abortion ban and the vice president's visit here to Jacksonville. Our Renata DiGregorio is on your side at a local Planned Parenthood location speaking with providers about the effects of the ban. Right now, Rich Donnelly is outside the Prime Osborne with reaction to the vice president's visit. But first, we want to start with Christina Burgess, who's joining us live from the Prime Osborne. And Christina, you were inside while the vice president spoke. Let's talk a little bit about what she had to say. Well, Vice President Kamala Harris spoke to a room full of supporters and advocates about the fight for the rights of women's reproductive rights. Harris said there is a, quote, full on assault state by state on reproductive freedom. Now, the vice president was here today because of that Florida six week abortion ban that went into effect today with now 20 states having abortion bans. Harris told supporters women should be able to decide what they want to do with their body. Because, you see, we trust women. We trust women to know what is in their own best interest. And women trust all of us to fight to protect their most fundamental freedoms. Because if the government can reach... Mayor Donna Deegan, State Representative Fentrice Driscoll, and Senator Tracy Davis also shared their support in this fight. With the upcoming election this year, Vice President Kamala Harris says reproductive freedom is on the ballot and the people have the power to protect those freedoms by going out to vote. Live at the Prime Osborne Center, Christina Burgess, First Coast News, on your side. From the Duval County GOP on the vice president's trip here to Jacksonville about her abortion comments. Chairman Dean Black telling us that Democrats know that the past four years of the Biden administration have been a failure for Floridians and the American people. This desperate attempt to rally their base through far left issues will fail at the ballot box. 